Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Him Along. Lisa's here. She is. Samantha's here. Hello. Edson came back. I'm here. <laughs> and we have guests as usual today. We have Cornelius. I'm here. And we have Nadine. Hello. Before we get more into finding out who they are and what they are sharing with us today, let's open our hearts and sing together, Open My Eyes That I May See. It is him 326. Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me, placing my hands a wonderful key that shall uncross and set me free. Silently now I will. from the inside it's it's or oh, exposed I like that. you know it's just wow only the spirit can do that we thank Absolutely. the lord for the spirit uh we have our first guest here nadine how are you i'm good in yourself <laughs> samantha <laughs> um, well, thank you would you like to share a little something about yourself with our viewers well i'm nadine <laughs> <laughs> i love music mm. and i love to sing mm. For the glory of God. Amen. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's as simple as you can get it. That's all we need, <laughs> really. You chose our first hymn, which is hymn 373, Seeking the Lost. Yes. So I actually have a little bit of a testimony okay. when it comes to that song. So in 2020, of course, everybody knows what happened then. Um, the 24th of December, I was at home. So I decided, let me record I just decided, okay, I'm going to record a song. So I took my phone out and I recorded the song. Never posted it, nothing. Never thought about it again. And then in 2021, January, it was a Wednesday. I was just having a bad day. And then I decided, let me post the song. And I posted the song the following day. Suddenly people started liking it. And I was like, okay, then let me post another one. And that's how my ministry started with oh, wow. posting songs and okay. people enjoying the music. Mm. And when it comes to the song, Seeking the Lost, it's, for me, 
the evangelism of it and doing that and praising God and mm. telling others about his word. That is the most important thing for me mm. in my ministry. Mm. That's how mm. I give praises to God. Praise God. So. Wow. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much for that testimony, Nadine. Let's sing together hymn 373, Seeking the Lost. Seeking the lost, yes, kindly entreating wanderers on the mountain astray. Come unto me, message repeating words of the Master speaking to me. It's a fun song, you know, and yeah, everybody gets a chance to do something in the song, mm. you know, like every congregation member, every person watching him along at the moment, you have the opportunity actually in every song, but especially in this one to get your sing on. Now, Brother Cornelius, full names today, Brother mm. Cornelius Villar. Mm. <laughs> Don't you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I came into the church when I was about 13, 14 years old. And uh, my mother embraced the, the, the truth. My father wasn't interested. And uh, his, his code was, just do what you want to do. And so she started dragging all of us. We were six. 
children, and we were all dragged to Norwood Church, the little black church here, in uh, 33rd Avenue, Elsie River. I was baptized, I think, when I was just about 16. And uh, a couple of years later, I decided I had enough of these people. And I packed my bag and I, I left. And uh, thankfully for this mother I had, um, I got married in 75. I had a ton of children. And uh, in 1998, Pastor Lewis came to visit me because we were mates. And he said to me, oh, what's wrong with you, man? You must stop this nonsense. And uh, it was a time of the real truth. And uh, then I started to go back to, I went to the, to the services. And then uh, I was, oh, the Holy Spirit impressed me that my boys were now big. My eldest son was about 18. At that, that time, and uh, my wife used to take him to the Lutheran church. And somebody said to her one day, "Every time you come with another child, but where's the father?" <laughs> 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 because I I never attended the Sunday church. I, I just I just carried on with what I was doing. So anyway, 1997, at the real truth, we, I was rebaptized at Fergus Karal, and. Uh, Went to Mitchell's Plain Church. I still said to myself, the first Sabbath I went back to church. Now I'm really going back to the saints. Mm -hmm. uh, I was disillusioned very, very quickly because I realized that none of us, we all are uh, in a bat battle with the devil. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but the Lord has been faithful. Amen. And, uh, yeah, 2024, uh, I've just got my one boy, that Craig, that is with us in the church, my, from my grandchildren, but now still praying, like my mother prayed Amen. for the other four. Amen. And uh, I buried her last year, 98. She was 98 years old. And uh, yeah, we had, I had a, rock, a rocky 2023, but God is faithful. He is. Yeah. He is so faithful. So why did you choose hymn 303 for us to sing? That's exactly why I chose it, because of where I've been, what I've done, and uh, the faith of my mother. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I pledge to remain beneath the cross of Jesus. Oh, that is so beautiful. Mm. That is so beautiful. Oh, if you feel what we feel, sing along with us, hymn 303, Beneath the Cross of Jesus. Beneath the cross of Jesus, I fain would take my stand.
content to let the world go by, to know no pain or loss. My sinful self, my only shame, my glory on the cross. Hey. My sinful self, mm. my only shame. Ooh. My glory, we go. all the cross. There we go. Yeah. My glory, all the cross. Everything for Christ is everything. Christ is all in all. We are nothing without him. We can be hidden behind his blood. Thank you so much for your testimony, Brother Cornelius. Our next hymn, 212. It is almost time for the Lord to come. Nadine, why did you choose that one? It's simple. The thing about music and hymns, when you sing it, you you feel something. Mm. So you're either attracted to it or you just is you know, just don't like it, if I must say it like that. But with this song, it, it just drew me because you're preparing yourself for God mm. to come. For the Lord to come. So that's it. It is almost time for the Lord to come. How true that is. <laughs> oh, it must be the breaking of the day. Please sing with us hymn 212. It is almost time for the Lord to come. It is almost time for the Lord to come. I hear the People say the stars of him not growing dim. It must be the breaking of the day. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day. Oh, is almost gone, the day is coming on. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day. The signs foretold in the sun and moon, in earth and sea and sky, aloud proclaim to Breaking of the day. 
my goodness. That I was enjoyed just, that. Note. Yes, that's I was so going to say that was you. You <laughs> chosen very fun hymns today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so another fun hymn is in our. It's that time. <laughs> Nolan, is it? I'm just so uh, like I need to acknowledge your. Yes, it is. Yes, choice. it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nolan mm-hmm. says it's that time. So this time for that time is also a little bit of fun, Samantha, mm. because the hymn that Nolan chose for the rarely sung slot. I thought to myself, but I know the scene. We all know the scene. Why did he put it there? You know why? Because there's another hymn that we sing with the same tune, but we hardly sing these words. And these words are so very good. Mm. Now, I find myself in a dilemma, just a small dilemma, because I don't quite know <laughs> who chose the scene. I think it's Brother Cornelius. That's right. So I'm going to ask him, Samantha, he's so good with telling you if you're right or wrong. <laughs> I Gifts. Have, I have, yes. I will. Thank you. I'll take that. Brother Cornelius, you chose, am I a soldier of the cross? Why did you choose that hymn? Um, we've, I've been, since I've been back in church, uh, I joined up with the with men. We have this men band that used to be, what they call the early morning group early morning group so uh, we used to meet at six o'clock every sabbath morning and uh our leader at that time was past brother lawrence sister lawrence he's now sadly passed away in 2019 and he loved his hymns i think he would have enjoyed himself if he was still alive with him along and uh he used to point this fact out that we need to be working out there. And once a, once a month, we used to go to the town center and, and work and give our tracks and speak to the people out there. And uh, he used to say, we need to be soldiers of the cross. And he loved the same. Mm. And I also used to learn to love it, especially as you say, the words are so, so uh, true. You know. Great. So, uh, you know, I'm still stuck on the fact that 6 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, 6 a.m., no? in the morning. Yeah. I don't mind 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that you really are a soldier of the cross. If you're at a prayer group or something at 6 o'clock in the morning, there's no reason why we don't sing this hymn asking ourselves mm. this question. Mm. Hymn 609. Hymn 609, Am I a Soldier of the Cross?
Mm, that was a story. Yo, mm. that was, a, you know, the uh, questions uh, were asked, the answers were given. <laughs> and at the end of it all, man, the glory, the glory shall be Amen. thine. I Amen. just love where these hymns Amen. take us. Yo. Absolutely. And, and you know what? The next hymn that you gave here is just one of those shout outs of like, <laughs> When the roll is called up yonder, hey, we go. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I really like that. Why did you choose it? So I don't know. When I was praying about these songs, when I was speaking these songs, I realized that these songs tell tells a story just mm. in order. So the first one says about you seeking the loss. Mm. The next one says about preparing for God's coming. And this one is about the Lord's coming. Mm -hmm. So I was amazed, I was shocked, but <laughs> yeah, it talks about the trumpets, it talks about everything and we can't wait to see our loved ones again. Mm -hmm. That is the main thing. Oh, that's true. We really can't wait to see so many loved ones again. Sing with us in 216, when the role is called up yonder. trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair when the saints of us shall gather over on the other shore and the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the conviction in that but it's a fun conviction again <laughs> oh my goodness all your hymns oh, it's a beautiful story thank you very much for the journey that you took us on <laughs> to be honest with you um so my husband always says um he loves the hymns but he says he wishes that it's a little bit more upbeat so <laughs> i chose these upbeat songs also <laughs> so that we can all enjoy ourselves there we go thank you very much it's it's we've come to the end of this episode already <laughs> and it's been quite the journey <laughs> the questions were asked the upbeats were sung everything was determined and we finally determined that when the role is called we shall be there our amen. final hymn amen to that. again takes us to that wonderful day we we shall never ever part again <laughs> that's him 449 brother cornelius thank you for joining us here today you chose the hymn why did you choose the hymn uh, Nadine will, will know Brother Brit and uh, Brother Saki. Yeah, you know Brother Saki. Now he loved the him. And uh, many a Sabbath morning when we're walking out of church or even at prayer meetings, especially at prayer meetings when the service is done, 
and then we walk out, then he'll start singing this thing. Mm. And I used to say, what? Every time you what? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love to, to come to love, love the song because I used to, used to sing the, the soprano part and then I play with the tenor with him and then we, we used to have a good time with this him. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I thought I must put this one in. Very good, <laughs> very good. Thank you so much for sharing your journeys, your experiences, your testimonies. We were blessed. We hope that you were blessed as well through these stories. Thank you, Nadine. Uh, thank you, Edson, in your presence there. We appreciate it. Nolan and Lisa, thank you very much for joining us today, as usual. <laughs> Please join us as we sing our last hymn for today, hymn 449, Never Part Again. There is a land of pure delight Where bliss eternal reigns Infinite day excludes the night And pleasures vanish fail We're traveling to Soon shall hear the trumpet sound, and soon we shall with Jesus reign, and never, never part again. What? Never part again? No. Soon shall hear the trumpet 
shall with Jesus reign and never, never part so glad that you are able to join us in watching him along and to join in singing along as we are able to relive the beauty and the messages of these hymns but friends these hymns and this ministry is only made possible through donations of those like you who enjoy these programs who enjoy the messages and enjoy telling your friends about these programs and we'd like to invite you to go to kofi.com where you'll be able to make your donation to this ministry and be part of this ministry. So go to kofi.com and make a donation. Each cent will help to make sure that someone else is able to hear and to watch this program and also to learn about the love of Jesus Christ. So join the ministry and donate. Mm -hmm. 